So this is my audience. This is Pastor Joe. This is Nancy. This is Barbara. This is Kim. My filmer is Tammy. Ta-da! <laughs> and Ashley is right there. So are we ready to begin? So I want you guys to think back since most of my audience is not in college. Size Ashley <laughs> and myself. I want you to think back to when you were 17 years old, maybe 18, when you were graduating. What was going through your mind? Did you guys know? Did you want to work? Did you want to go to school? Did you want, what did you want to do? College. College. Work, what did you think? Work and earn money. Work and earn money. No plan. No plans? Okay. Well, my persuasive speech today is I'm here to talk to you about community college versus a four-year college. I myself I am in community college right now and I enjoy it. So I'm here to tell you why it's a better choice than a four-year school. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about who you might see there. You're going to see a lot of different people. You're going to see so maybe some trade, technical vacation students. So kids who are looking to go into a trade profession. Students that want to save money on their general education courses before transferring to a more expensive four-year school. It's cheaper, it's quicker, and your career starts soon. You don't have a lot of debt when you come out. You lose a lot of that when you don't go to a four-year school right off the bat. A lot of home-based people, so you can live at home. Some academics and professors. Uh, the academics at a community college, they're comparable in academic difficulty. People say that schools that are community colleges are not as good as four-year schools. Their academics are weaker, but it's not true. They are the same difficulty. Research versus instruction. This is a te the teaching type of method. Um, schools that are four-year schools, they do research. Their teachers are researching instead of actually teaching. Whereas a community college, they're instructing you. The professor's method is a teaching focus instead of a research focus. They have, that creates a better learning environment and a better experience for the students. They love their job. Community college professors actually love their job believe it or not, instead of four-year schools who are just trying to get their paycheck and do some research and, on these students. They simplify confusing subjects for their kids. They really care about them. It's easier to apply for the students. They internalize it and they reapply it to their everyday life, to their real world life after graduation. The professors, people say that there's unqualified professors at a community college, but it's not true. Most co community colleges, they need a master's or a doctorate degree in their teaching subject. So if you're a psychology professor, you have to have a master's or a doctorate in psychology. You take your general prerequisite courses to transfer to your four-year school. A lot of kids who don't know what they're doing yet for their job, they take their, gen their general education, their prerequisite courses here so that they can transfer them to their new school. A lot of times it gives you closely linked to area industries. You can get apprenticeships, internships, industry connections, all in your local area through these community colleges. They work with a lot of business techs. Classroom discussion, the interaction is a lot better at a community school. Um, the interaction, the classroom discussion participation, there's a lot more discussion led classes because teachers are trying to lecture you at a four-year school. They're trying to lecture hundreds and hundreds of students, and they don't create a good interaction with their students. They teach more of a classroom. A community college is a classroom setting. Will you agree, Ashley? Definitely. It's a classroom setting versus sometimes when you're at a four-year school, your professor is going to teach in a large auditorium filled with hundreds of students. Students get one-to-one -one, um, interactions. You work directly 
with, you interact with, you maintain personal relationships with your professors at these four-year schools. And kids don't feel like they're getting this interaction. They don't form a personal relationship with their professors at a four-year school. Flexibility and location. Financial constraints, due to the tightening job market here, students are trying to work and go to college. I work with Ashley here. We're both on the same track here. We're working, we're going to school, and we go to school here so because we know that our job field isn't really hiring right now, so we're staying in school and we're also working. Community college, they also offer night classes. They have a wide variety instead of four-year schools. They don't offer as many night classes. So people that are working may need night classes. They, that's the only time they could possibly go to school. So that's why community college really benefits these types of people. The location, 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 location. That's what I use when I researched. That's what one of the points was on one of my research topics. That was the title. Location, location, location. If you're unsure of college, if you don't think you're comfortable going somewhere, far away, you're shipping yourself off somewhere. If you don't feel like you're comfortable, community college is really a better option for you. So while you're going to school, you can meet your family's needs. You can work, you can stay at the job that you have, and you can just stay home and relax while you're still earning your degree. The cost. Many people say that community college, that's the biggest thing, is the cost, and I totally agree. I'm saving so much money by going to community college, and when we're teachers, teachers don't make a lot of money. Let's be honest. <laughs> we do it because we love our job. So by going to community college, we're saving money and we won't be as much in debt. It's far less than a four-year school. Commuters, it's designated for commuters. Community college is designated for people that will commute. There's no room and board fee, making it a lot cheaper. This whole idea of mortgaging your future, you're going to come out in debt. Why would you want to come out in debt so far in debt? You want to enjoy your career. You finally made it. But... You're going to be so far in debt, you're just mortgaging your future. Higher education is available, is available to all people. Now, with, four, or with community college, kids that couldn't necessarily afford a four-year school, they can now afford college because they're going to a two-year school. It's a better value proposition. According to College Board, $3,131 is the average tuition cost. How much? Repeat that, please. 3131 That is the average cost of tuition at, at a community college. Here at Bucks, I just looked at my plan for last year, or for last semester, and it's $2,089. Pretty, pretty cheap, if you ask me. This is 35% of the four-year cost. That's pretty incredible to me. So I've talked to you a lot about all the different options for community college, why it's such a great option, um, the people that you will see there, the types of ways that you can get your degree, their scheduling. You can do so many different things at community college. It's so flexible. So lastly, I'm going to conclude with the four people that benefit from going to community college. People that are not prepared to leave the nest. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Who knows? I have known so many people that are mama's boys. And they don't want to leave the nest because they don't want to make mom upset. But, so these people go to community college. They're not prepared to leave the nest. If they're unsure of college, that's why they go to community college. I'm a daddy's girl. So, I love my dad. I stay, I stay home when I go to community college. Um... The next person is a non-traditional person, a non-traditional student. Think about it. Some adults change career paths. They decide they don't want to be in that field anymore, so they take some classes at community college to get their degree, another degree to change their career. People that are using um, community college for additional training and certificates. Current professionals, that they're acquiring skills without another degree. 
So I'm talking about mechanics, dental assistance. They don't need a four-year degree. They need a two-year degree. So it takes them. It's an easier time to get that. And the last person is a lifelong learner. According to U.S. News broadcast about education, they quoted, education is in a 12 or 16 year experience. It's a lifetime. And I definitely agree. Is there any questions about what I had to say about community college? But I think some people some people go to community college for two years and then they transfer to two years to a regular college. Mm -hmm. So that's normal for a lot of people. Yes, and that's what my career And some people is. prefer that the four years be, sent, be spent in one place. Yes. There's different, there's different preferences. Yes, most definitely. My, that's what my career path is. Yeah, some people don't want to go far from home. I, that's my career path. I am transferring, transferring to another school after I complete my two-year degree. Any other questions? You said there's negative and positive in, with schools. It's cheaper, right? There's no room, there's no board, there's no dorm. If you go to college, you're going to have a heavy debt. You will be paying, uh, plus you'll pay rent, et cetera, et cetera, for dorms. So it reduces your, your cost if you go to a community college. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely it would reduce the cost. I have talked to so many people, so many people that are going to a four-year school. A friend of mine who is now coming out and graduated, he's so much in debt. He's getting engaged. He's going he's going to be married and he's so far in debt and he says to me, "Becca, I really wish that I went to a four-year school my, or to a two-year school instead." When I chose to go to Box, my friend told me I was an idiot for choosing community college over a four-year school. And, and I was it's like, so "I'm saving true. money. You're saving so much money." Thank you guys so much for being my audience and I really hope that you guys had a better insight on community college. We're not just the dumb kids that don't make four-year schools. We're just saving money. Thank you.